Oh, I gotta do action. Yeah, oh, ah. Uh. I don't know why I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember how to I'm do this. I gotta have my arm for a second. We're gonna talk about. Whatever you said your video idea was. Well, I think the title was gonna be like, Where Have We Been or something. Okay, there you go. You lead, I'll follow. Wherever you go, I will follow. I don't think that's the name of the song. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. I think my slouching enough. Is your socks big enough? Am I slouching enough? We're both slouching. We're sitting in front of the fire. Can I see the fire? Oh. There's the fire. Beautiful. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. And action. Oh. Riding adventures. Hi, how are you this evening? It's been a while. It's been a long while. We always say that, but yes, it's been a very it's long time. It's been longer while. than ever, I think, this time for real. I think the last video I put out. You did? I think it was right around expo time. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Six months ago? At least. Yeah, it's been a while, I guess. Why haven't you done any videos? I've been busy. Yeah, been yeah. a little busy. Busy. Yeah. So we thought we'd jump in and tell you guys what we've been doing. I mean, if you watch the Outer Belt podcast, maybe you've heard what we're doing. But if you're not watching the Outer Belt podcast, pause this video right now and go subscribe to the Outer Belt podcast. It's a pretty good video. I, I think, think it's, it's informative. Video. I think you guys are funny. Um, well, the Outer Belt is me, Patrick, one of the founders of, of, of Highfield Trucking. He's definitely me. And uh, Jerry from... Um, Extra Daughter Boogie yes. uh, is our producer, so he chimes in every now and again, but sometimes he has a hard, hard time getting a word in edgewise with me and Patrick talking. Yes, anybody yeah. does. You've yeah. done some interviews with yeah. um, contractors contractors, yeah. and some staff, yeah. and so yeah, great video. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but what have we been doing? What have we been doing? Well, my current role on staff at Highfield Trucking is uh, operations manager, which means that when trucks come in... Uh, either brand new or a team returns the truck, uh, my job is to get them turned and ready for new teams. Whether that's maintenance or repairs or cleaning or all of the above, um, myself along with Mel Lee are responsible for getting those trucks ready for new teams that come on board. Um, what have you been doing? I've been putting teams in those trucks along with Delina. Um, we're both... Um contractor sourcing uh, here at Highfield. So uh, on the call with you if you're interested in what we do and provide you that application to the carrier of your choice. Uh, also pending truck availability. But uh, yeah, talking to some really great people out there who have an interest for expediting and want yeah. to come join Highfield. So yeah. yeah. Besides that, we've done some traveling. Uh, we went to visit your grandmother in Indiana a couple times. We did. Uh, we went on a cruise in August uh, to the Caribbean. Went on another cruise in December, January to the mm -hmm. Caribbean. Just Highfield recently. at Sea just recently. You can catch those videos on the Highfield Trucking uh, YouTube channel. Um, what else have we been doing? Uh, we went to Kentucky. This last summer, we've uh, been to London. Yeah, we did go to London. Um, we had my younger son out here twice uh, in the summer. That was fall. a big surprise for your birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, life things. You, what, what you do in life is kind of what we've been doing. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Okay. In your role as contractor sourcing. Yes. What are some of the questions that people don't ask you that you think they should be asking? I think, I think they'd ask about our mentor program. Uh, while I do share that information with people, um, I don't fully think that they're grasping what I'm sharing with them as and the concept of what the mentor program is about. 
So maybe, maybe I'd like to have people do a little more research, whether it be just reading um, about mentor program on our website, or maybe they've watched another YouTuber talk about it. Um, but I think I, I would either like them a to ask about our mentor program and have some knowledge about it or have follow-up questions when I share with them about our mentor program. Um, and then I think the other one would be, um, well, it's not necessarily that they don't ask, but I don't think, again, that they're grasping it. Um, most people call in and ask about a company position, and that's not what IGEL offers. It's an independent contractor model. And I think there's a lot of people there that don't understand the difference in that as well. Okay. So, but I don't know if there's really not a lot of questions. Most people have done some sort of research. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to get those people who just say, I'm interested, send me an application. And then you kind of have to force feed them all the information. Just to make sure that the right fit, they understand what they're getting into. Sure. And, and that maybe if they hear something that I've shared with them, maybe they realize it's not a right fit or... Or maybe they have asked some follow-up questions, but I'd say those people are the hardest ones to make sure that they understand, because um, I do feel like sometimes people are job hoppers, um, and I just want to make sure that they're completely understanding uh, what they're getting into, because it isn't a company position, and I think that in society, uh, most jobs are company positions. You're an employee. Then you get people who, you know, just ask all the questions. What kind of tires do you put on? Do you do retreads, no retreads? Are, are they governed at what rate? You know, they have bathrooms, so on and so forth. So, you know, I have one for you. Okay. Uh, if somebody can return their truck with everything done, or what's, what's the most, what's the thing that you find most people are returning their trucks not having done prior to bringing you back a truck? We find a lot of boxes that aren't organized, uh, load bars that aren't secured, um, straps that aren't wrapped, those types of things. And those things to me, well, one, one the load bars not being secured are a DOT violation because even if you're empty, your load bars are your cargo and they need to be secured. So they're not rolling around in the back of your truck. Um, but also that organization helps with your appearances when you show up at a shipper or a consignee and your your equipment isn't in good shape or it is organized. Um, yeah, um, the trucks don't come back clean. Um, you know, we asked to bring the truck back that you picked it up in. They don't come back clean, so they do require professional cleaning. Um, sure. Most of the time, um, what else is going on there? Microwaves. Microwaves are a big one. You know. Do people food, know that they with, can with, use with, oven cleaner? Microwaves are a big one with food splatter and things like that in them. Um, there are, it's a microwave. It's the same as what you have at home, and you can clean it the same way you clean it if you're at home. Sure. Yeah, the trucks aren't clean, or we actually bring it back full of fuel, so we're not having to run out, run, run out and get fuel in it right away, or um, just the basics. We, we also find that trucks have issues that haven't been addressed. The APU's not working, and we don't know how long the APU's not working, but if you have an issue like that, reach out to maintenance. They'll get that APU taken care of for you. We don't want you running equipment that is not functioning where either one, it's not safe. We want your equipment to be safe all the time. Sure. Um, and part of that safety is your comfort as a driver. If you're not sleeping because you can't run your rooftop AC and stay cool and comfortable, that's a problem. That's a safety issue, right? So we want to make sure we're addressing those issues. Yes, we do take trucks for repairs all the time. Uh, we take trucks if they're due for maintenance, whether it's on the APU or the TCU or the engine. Uh, we're taking them for, for those types of PMs to get done as well. Um, that, that, those are the, the, the big things, is cleaning and organizing the box, um, removing all of their personal belongings. Oh. We've had a couple of trucks that we've had to remove trash bags full of not just trash, but also personal belongings that they left in a truck, and we're not going to try and send them to you. We're, we're just not. We don't have time for that. We're going to, anything that's left when you turn the keys into the truck, unless you call and say, hey, I forgot X, Y, and Z, we're going to trash it, yeah. quite honestly, you know. Uh, we have a large checklist that we go through that covers every aspect of the truck from the box to the exterior to the sleeper and the cab uh, where we're touching everything in that truck to make sure it's working properly so we can put it back out in a working condition. And that takes time. And as opposed to sorting through personal belongings, they just, they just go on trash package. bags, Yeah, which is sad sometimes. Yeah. But, um, but that's where we're at. That's what we've been doing. You guys saw Annie a second ago. She's here. 
at my feet, oh. wanting to say hello. But she doesn't know she wants to say hello, but... She wants you to just throw her a toy. She's still here with us. She's getting doing her thing, getting old, loving the backyard and barking at the squirrels and the rabbits and the dogs next door. Doing her thing. Anyway, uh, if expediting interests you, um, we'd love to have you here at Highfield Trucking. We're looking for pre-made teams. Come with your partner, um, your teammate. Well, she's just going to... Okay. Keep going. Yeah, come with your teammate. Uh, class A or B CDL, we would really love it if you had a um, hazmat and tanker endorsements. Uh, you would love it too because it opened up your load opportunities. Um, but yeah, reach out to us. Uh, you can reach out to us on our Highfield Trucking website, yep. highfieldtrucking.com. Yes. Or you can reach out to um, one of our, our sourcing partners at the Highfield Trucking phone number, which is 833-HIGHFIELD, yes. H-Y-F-I-E-L-D. Yeah, option number one gets you right into uh, our recruiting department. So Monday through Friday, 8 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Anyway, it's good to see you all again, even though I can't see you all, but I'll see you in the comments. Um, anything else you want to add? No. Nope. Have a great evening. Don't leave money on the table. Bye.